Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this easy and so flavorful sheet pan shrimp boil. Sheet pan shrimp boil is so fun and easy to make. It's an oven version of your classic shrimp boil recipe. You have shrimp, sausages, potatoes, and corn all cooked in one pan, and it's also bursting with flavor. So let's get started. Here I have a pot of boiling water, and I'm gonna boil one pound of these bite-sized potatoes. And I'm just gonna parboil them for about 15 minutes until they're tender, since the rest of our ingredients on our sheet pan cook a little bit quicker. Also, by the end of this video, if you enjoyed it, all I request is that you like and subscribe, and that will definitely help to support me. In a bowl, I have two tablespoons of melted butter, and to it, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, along with four minced garlic cloves. And I'm gonna go ahead and whisk everything until it's well combined. Here I have about 12 ounces of smoked sausage and I'm just going to go ahead and slice them on a diagonal. You can also use kielbasa or andouille sausages. Normally I would use andouille sausages but for this recipe the spice mixture does bring in a quite a bit of heat so I decided to go with a more mild sausage. But if you do like more spice I would recommend it. And here I have a package of frozen corn. I guess these are called nibblers. And this is probably equivalent to about two ears of fresh corn. If you wanna use fresh corn, go right ahead. I just find that frozen corn, it just works much easier in this recipe because there's no shucking and no parboiling. Just throw it on the sheet along with the other ingredients. And here is how they look. If you want, you could leave them like that or you can slice them in half just like I did. Now to a sheet pan, I'm gonna add one pound of shrimp. I'm using unpeeled, but both peeled and unpeeled will both work with this recipe. My hubby and son just have a lot of fun peeling them and my hubby told me that leaving the shell on actually holds in the flavor, so. But peeled also works, so just a preference. Now I'm going to add in the sausages that we sliced up earlier. Also, don't forget to watch until the end to see my son's reaction to the taste test. Now I'm gonna add in the potatoes that we parboiled earlier. What made me wanna actually make this recipe was that previously, a while back, I did a foil packet version of a shrimp boil. And it was a total hit. If you like, you could check that video out as well. But instead of making individual foil packets, I am loving this sheet pan version. Okay, so now that I've added the corn, it's time to add all of our flavorings. I'm gonna drizzle over our butter, olive oil, and garlic mixture. And what makes this dish super flavorful and delicious is Old Bay seasoning, which you should be able to find at any grocery store. And I'm gonna give everything a generous seasoning because we love it so much. And this is equivalent to a heaping tablespoonful. and I'm gonna give it a gentle mix so that everything is covered with the seasoning. We usually like to eat this type of food at restaurants, but it's just so easy to make right at home. I have my oven heated to 400 degrees and I'm gonna bake it for about 15 minutes, just until the shrimp is nice and cooked through. And 15 minutes has passed and you guys have to take a look at this. Seriously, you can't go wrong with this meal. It's just that good. You've got your shrimp, sausages, potatoes, and corn with garlic butter and tons of seasoning. And lastly, I like to give it another drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. You can also season it with a bit more Old Bay seasoning to taste, but I put quite a bit of it on here, so I think we're good. Also on the bottom of the pan, there's a little bit of sauce and I like to sop it up with some garlic bread. And that's one of my son's favorite parts. Time to dig in. Ugh, doesn't it look incredible? One, two, three, cheers. cheers. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more simple and delicious recipes, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. I make cooking videos weekly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.